All right, so now we're going to talk about graphing horizontal and vertical lines. All right, so let's start with the following. Let's graph y equals 2. Now the first thing we should notice is that we have an equation, y equals 2, and the x variable is missing. Now what this means is that x can be any number it wants to be, but all the y values have to be 2. So to come up with a couple of ordered pairs, we'd say, all right, so choose a value for x, okay, 1. So if x is 1, the y value has to be 2. Um, if x is 3, the y value has to be 2, so forth and so on. If x is negative 1, the y value has to be 2. x can be any number it wants to be, but all the y values have to be the same. They have to be the number 2 because our equation says y equals 2. So we come over here to our graph, and we need to plot 1, 2. So there's 1, 1, 2, put a little point. 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then negative 1, 2 would be up here. So all the x values can be anything they want to be, but all the y values have to be the same number 2. And we get what type of a line? That's right, we get a horizontal line. So horizontal lines have a certain form. Horizontal lines have the form y equals some number b. So you go to that particular number on the y-axis, um, put a spot, and then draw a horizontal line. Whenever you have y equals just a number, a real number. Okay, so now what about the slope of this horizontal line? So slope. Alright, so m equals, we take these two order pairs, these first two order pairs right here, we go y value minus y value over x value minus x value, you get 0 over 2, so the slope of the horizontal line is 0. In fact, that's always going to be the case. The slopes of horizontal lines are always 0 because there's no rate of change. It's not increasing or decreasing, it's a flat line, so the slope of the line uh, is 0. All right, so now let's go look at uh, this one. Let's graph x equals negative 3. All right, so this time we've got the y that's missing. Uh, so that means y could be anything that it wants to be. But what does x have to be? The x values all have to be negative 3. So two ordered pairs for this would be something like negative 3, 1 and negative 3, 2, for example. Uh, and we can continue on. Y could be anything it wants to be, but all the x values have to be negative 3. So when we go over here to plot these ordered pairs, we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and negative 3, 1, which would be right there. And negative 3, 2, which would be right there. And then connecting the dots, we get a vertical line. So vertical lines have the form, whoops, vertical lines have the form x equals some number. x equals a real number. The y is missing. So then you can just go to that specific number on the x-axis, put a little point, draw your vertical line. So graphing vertical lines and horizontal lines, um, once you understand the form that they have, uh, then it uh, they're, they're pretty, pretty fast. All right, what about slope of vertical lines? All right, so slope, let's take these 200 pairs, we get m equals 2 minus 1 on the top, negative 3 minus negative 3 on the bottom, which goes to 1 over negative 3 plus 3, which goes to 1 over 0. And that is undefined. Remember, 0 in the denominator, we have an undefined number. Undefined. So the slopes of vertical lines are always undefined, and this is the reason why. And the slopes of horizontal lines are always 0. All right, study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.